All right, guys, so today we're gonna to be checking out a very interesting pair of headphones. And the pair we're gonna check out are the Verum One open back planar magnetic headphones. Now they do come in retailing at $350, but what makes these unique is they are handmade by one guy in the Ukraine. He doesn't have a team. There's nothing that's coming off a conveyor belt. Everything is made by hand. And so it has this very unique look to them. It has a lot of character because being made by hand, you can see minor little imperfections here and there. The drivers on here, like I said, are planar magnetic and they are 82 millimeters. So those are large drivers, which does make this a larger pair of headphones. So I wouldn't necessarily recommend this for portable use, but again, it is open back anyway. So anything that you're going to listen to, anybody around you is going to be able to hear everything just as clear as you are. So let's go ahead and check out the headphones, see what it is you get inside the box and why I think it's an absolute steal at $350. To start with, let's talk about the box. I actually don't have it because there's nothing really to show here. It just comes in a brown cardboard box. There's no markings of any kind. In fact, the only thing else included other than the headphones is your headphone cable and even that was just thrown in a Ziploc bag. So there's nothing special when it comes to the packaging. I think it just kind of gives it that like if you went to a farmer's market and you bought something that somebody picked in a garden, they uh, packaged it themselves. It just makes it feel a lot more personal. Now, as far as the build quality and the design of the headphones, um, the top is a steel headband that is actually bent by the guy himself. It has titanium knobs. It does have a leather headband underneath it. That way your head's not actually touching the steel headband. And another thing that I like is you can see the stitching clearly, but because it's done by hand, you can see where the stitching even stops. Same thing with the finish on here. Now it is available, I believe, in three different finishes. Uh, this has the wood look to it. You can see where different areas are cut out to be able to fit on the areas that's not a smooth surface. The ear pads are sheepskin and it's actually held on by a magnet and the magnet is extremely strong. So this is not, you know, an ear pad that's going to fall off. After you take the ear pad off, you can see these large planar drivers. I just, I love the look of this. I just love the overall feel of the headphones. They're extremely comfortable. Now, if you do want to adjust them, you loosen up the knob you actually have to take it off and slide the headband up and down where you want it to be located and then tighten it back down now you can see that you do have to plug in the headphone cable on both the left and right hand side. Now the end of the cable that plugs into whatever you want to is a three and a half millimeter plug-in. Uh, it does come with a quarter inch adapter so that you can plug them into amps or home theater setups. I do want to say this, the impedance level that's on here are eight ohms and these are very easy to drive. And what I mean by that is you can simply just plug this into your phone or your tablet or laptop or whatever. You don't have to use an amp to be able to get decent volume out of here, but I will say to get the most out of these, to be able to pull out um, a little more richness in the bass or to be able to EQ things a little more, I do recommend plugging these into an amp. Now I use the Shit Hell amp, which is not an expensive amp. In fact, I think it's like $100. Um, I also used a Creative Sound Blaster amp because it had some built-in EQ settings that I wanted to try on here and they actually handle EQing very well. And now I want to talk about how they sound straight out of the box. I think if you've never used a planar magnetic headphone, in my opinion, it's a different sound experience altogether. Now you can tell that there is a lot of focus on the brighter side. The treble is definitely tuned up. Same thing with the mids. They are pushed forward where it always felt like vocalists were right there, almost like singing in your ear. You're able to hear a lot of characteristics in the vocalists. Uh, and it's just very interesting because a lot of headphones don't tend to push the mids very forward. But what these are also doing is pulling bass back in a way where you're not getting that bloated bass. You're not getting a congested sound. It's very clean overall. And you can tell that the focus is more on hearing the clarity of bass instead of them trying to push it where you're feeling bass. Now, if you do want to feel bass, these can definitely do that, but that kind of goes back to EQing these um, maybe in your computer software or whatever. But just 
as it is, it is a very clean sound and it's kind of refreshing to hear a pair like this compared to a lot of other headphones. Now, as far as the sound stage and the sound imaging, they also excel here as well. Now, obviously being an open back pair of headphones, it gives you the illusion that you are in a much larger environment. And these absolutely nail being able to hear detail in instruments and the details of where everything's coming from. In fact, that's what makes these a very good gaming headset as well. I mean, obviously you don't have a mic on them, but the situational awareness and being able to hear footsteps and where gunshots are coming from, these are incredible when it comes to that. But guys, before I wrap up the video on these, I want to say that I think what makes these special to me is somebody that had so much passion in music that they started creating headphones for themselves and it turned into wanting to create something for other people to try out. But as a creative person, for somebody to design a pair of headphones and put their own, you know, work into every set that they ship out, that really does make a product like this pretty special and I just I loved them from the time that I've gotten them I loved using them for all genres of music this is a fast headphone so it sounds great with rock and metal where a lot of headphones just can't seem to keep up and with gaming it's been a very fun headphone to use so I highly recommend them and I really wish that a lot of you guys would go out and support this guy I mean $350 you are getting a hell of a pair of headphones but guys that's my video on the Verum 1 Thank you so much for checking out this video. Thank you so much for checking out all the other videos. And as always, make sure to stay tuned for more.